Kwani mimi ni nyeje? If you were a mother, would you like that to happen? Sorry mother, just got money in my pocket. I'm ready to give a speech on money, Inve investment, money and business. Stima unawasha around saa tatu wakati ambao ni giza totoro. Otherwise, kama uneza tembe ukiguza guza hivi vitu, well and good, that's a skill that we all need to learn. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you new here, my name is Catherine. And if this is your kind of content, please feel free to subscribe. If this is your kind of channel, feel free to subscribe. Now, remember the two videos before this. What was I doing, class? Susan? Yes, doing my hair. So I told you guys I'm going to unravel, not unravel, I'm going to show you how it turns out i was doing them on the on, a, on the 16th leo the 20th so they are four days old so let me show you guys while we talk about house hunting do, 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 do. drum rolls this is how they turned out guys the shrinkage is real the shrinkage is real but this is how they turned out i really love the mega growth uh, strengthening living treatment because it's not greasy Hiko greasy Hiko to the hair i really really love it i don't know i maybe i'll do a proper review but that's all i can say about the 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 the, the treatment right now because i am not a hair guru but I really love it. This is how they look. A little dry, but it's the moisturize. But yeah, this is how they look. As you can see, guys, he shrink. Ngalia. Wait. Chill, chill, chill. Ngalia. Yeah, ina shrinkisha, but I can't buy Alafu zina, zina fura. So that's how, that's how it all turned out. Guys, I was shooting, that day I was shoot from at around 11. I finished doing my hair at 8 o'clock. At 8 o'clock and every single time, I promised myself not to do that to myself. But tell me why I keep doing that to myself. <sighs> anyway guys, really just wanted to show you how it all turned out. If you'd like a tutorial on how I do them, kindly comment down below. Now, let's talk house hunting. What are the factors to consider saying you're a house hunt? Apart from the monies, what else should you consider? First of all, the money. <laughs> how much are you looking to spend? The Besha, Ochungulo, Mangondo, Besha. Eh, eh. Mushua Mawazo, tell me guys what you call money in your language. So, the money, how much are you willing to spend? How much are you looking to spend in or for your new home? That's the first thing you need to consider. The second thing you need to consider is where do you want to live? Unataka kuishi Buru, unataka kuishi Milimani, unataka kuishi Kilimani, unataka kuishi Halingam, Runda. Unasema amen, you don't say here, you say amen. Runda, Luakabete. Zimmerman, wherever you want to stay, consider that as well. And when you're considering the money, when you're considering the amount of money, um, the amount of money and the place you want to stay goes hand in hand. My friend, where's you gonna hope to spend fifteen thousand? Nunataka kuishi kilimani. No, Shh, don't say that. You can't. So. The amount of money you'd like to spend for your rent and the place you want to stay uh, goes hand in hand. Aya, in that, that same money point, you need to know that there are places where Mungu wa bariki sana nyinyaki ma landlords wenye, they do not ask for deposit. Such that, kama you're going into a house worth 20 Gs, Places in Aitisha deposit in Amanisha utalipa 20 Gs ya one month rent na 20 Gs ya deposit. Alafu, na some other marupurupu money, some other marupurupu money for sujui water, sujui what, sujui what. Water, takataka, and all, and all of those other. And there are places you also pay for the contract. Unalipa like 1,000 or 2,000 for the contract. Which, huo niwizu wa mabavu. Mabavu. 
that's theft <laughs> but you need to think about that sour think about the fact that kuna places utaitishwa deposit one month rent na hizo marupuru okay the third thing you need to think about is oh yeah there, there are places that ask for those and there are places that don't kuna place to zitakwitisha to your one month rent na marupuru peke yake sawa so in cases where unaitishwa hard deposit ina mean unalipa 20000 unalipa 20000 uh ya rent 20000 ya deposit na hizo so unalipa around say roughly to ya 50 g's but uko kwingine mimi utalipa ka 25 26 hapo the other thing you need to consider is the location like if you're looking to move from a place kwa sababu ya kazi yako kwenye iko, hii place yenye unataka kuenda, try focus. Hii place yenye unataka kuenda ni fit. Hii place yenye unataka kuenda inakusaidia ku access job vizuri easily. Kiangalia location in that sense unaangalia pia terms zenye wewe rudi home, terms zenye utoka for work. Kama unaenda place yenye kama job yako una, unatokanga kwa nyumba 5 of course, kuna places utaishi kwa sababu ya security and all that. Sindio? Na accessibility ya, mata, ya matatus or whatever it is that you use. Kama ni boda boda or whatever. So, location ina mata na, kama ni close na job yako. The other thing ina mata na location ni infrastructure. Infrastructure I mean barabara peke yake. Ati yo kukinyesha, uo utakuwa, utapata vumbi. Mm -mm. Matope, ina mean, wait. Naka kasa kulika na kwanga kwa Samsung kwa senior. <sighs> Location pia ina mean, uh, infrastructure pia ina mean, is there a hospital around? Um, lighting ya street, iko sawa. If you have kids, shule nyiko hapo ina kaaje. You know? Eh? Environment ina kaaje. Uh, shule kwa hapo ina kaaje. Kama, ni wato, uko na watoto. Kuna hosi karibu and all that. Same, same way. Woi. Kuna church karibu. Utakuwa na mshu na makrusedi. Na pastor akisema. Hasifiwe. Baraka saba. Every Sunday. Utakuwa na mshu kila Sunday na hizo. I'd call it. I'd call them kelele. Is there a club? Is there a church around? You know? There's a friend, not a friend, uh, Kit Kiari alisema, aki house hunt, anendanga kuangale hizo nyumba mchana, na anenda pia jioni. Ili yaone kama, kuna club around, amelala tu anasikia tu anji, anji, badi. Na wasichana ukua akisikrimia DJ. Kuna church, kila skuta amshangwa na, na speaker mic testing. You know, things like those are worth considering. Angale haka kuna church around. The other thing you can consider is, kama wei ni mtuma views, ni wapi. Hmm? Unataka at least kuonanga. But the one thing I noticed is, enye ya tuwezi toshana in this world. Kuna mtu wata experience sunset, kuna mtu wata experience sunrise. Mimi penye mina ka na experience sun, sunset. Uyu beshitangu, hapa penye niko kwake, ye huwa ana experience sunrise. Wewe ni mtuma views. Kama wei siyo mtuma views, unezaishi basi tu anywhere. Meza ishi anywhere, we bora umeamuka, we uja utajali, bora tu umeishi. One thing I noticed with house hunting in Nairobi is, no, you can get, you cannot get aesthetics and space na bei pesa kidogo. You have to part with some money if you're looking for aesthetics. So, nyumbe yote nyunaona imejengwa vi modern. Ikona hizo ma downlighters, ikona nini na nini na nini. Uneza pata kuwa space, sio as spacious kama ungepata an aesthetic space not every one of places kama riru i've seen so many big houses ziko na space ziko na aesthetics aesthetics na ziko na good price but majority of the time unapatanga you'll have to compromise sawa so, you have to compromise so tumeongelea space tumeangalia uh, tumeangalia location tumeongelea infrastructure tumeongelea environment sio na cost. The other thing unafaa kujua ni eh, maji. Someone once said 
ile siku wenye unatafuta nyumba maji inakuanga ina mwagi hadi unaweza unaweziacha ikirani kizungusho kwa nyumba acha uingie <laughs> tell me why ha sasa ona sasa ona sasa tumejaza badala tuweke viti za palette kwa, kwa kwa balcony ona sasa tumejaza ma, mando kwa balcony sasa ona hmm? hmm? sasa ona inabidi tutumie tu maji ya karai kuoga na tuko na shawa hmm? so i don't know how to ensure this but you need to also make sure that your place inakuanga na maji For me I feel like the best thing and the most sure bet thing to do is una time ka tenant ka moja. <laughs> Kakweka snitch kako. Unakaulizwa tu kama your place inakuanga na maji. They'll always spill watakwambia. You know. You also check parking. Kama wewe ni mtu ambaye uko imam. Kama wewe uko imam. <laughs> Una check parking, una check not just parking but how big the parking is. Ndio isikwange kila saa unaanza kwa announce KBS 833B. Nifungulia nataka kutoka. Na huyo mama maybe anajipaka makeup ama ako kwa bafu. Inabidi ungojewe. Sasa wewe unaenda kuambia boss ulichelewa kwa nini? Angalia parking. Angalia also security. By security don't just mean on your way home, I also mean at home. Hmm? angalia kama kuna watu wanachunga hiyo 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 place hmm? angalia kama maybe kama mko mko well enough as a as a, as a, as a facility kukuwa na CCTV and all that hmm? angalia roads angalia kama ukikuwa na emergency say god forbid mtoto wako ameweka ameweka um mahindi kwa mapua watoto mahindi na maindi kwa mapua sijui wanaonanga ka nini but tell me why beans maize wanaonanga tu yeko kwa mapua ameka bean kwa mapua ama ameka banu ama memeza banu Ame... utaweza kumanuva hiyo barabara kukimbiza mtoto husi you know vitu kama hizo you need to think about such things sewerage drainage issue Is it the type of place where kinyesha hivi kidogo kume flood? Is it is this the place the kind of place where choi kitumika for a few hivi plot yote inaanza kunuka ni kama nyinyi sijui ni ni wapi? Cuz pole nimepoteza my train of thought. <laughs> my daddy just texted me. He's not picking my WhatsApp call. Leon, if you're watching this, pick dad's call dad back. You are not picking his WhatsApp call. Sasa una nakatiza video ndio ni ni, ni kupigia ushike simu. Ah. <laughs> Guys, do your parents do that? Parent wako anakupigia anga anakwambia hebu ambia mama ashike simu. A sewerage. Uh, this may be hard to tell especially if you are not on site. Uh, there are houses with drainage issues. Thus, leaving an unpleasant smell while there are houses or neighborhoods that are prone to flooding, especially during rainy seasons. Exactly how ex I explained it. So, are you living in a place where Eh, kukinyesha hivi kidogo kume flood kidogo mna, mna, ndio hao sasa nyinyi mmeanza kununua boat hmm? ama ni place yenye drainage yake ni mbaya sana hadi sometimes mnasikia anga tu smell ya sewage watokiwa kwa nyumba so unpleasant so check that security tumesema the other thing you need to check is the size of the house depending on your preference if you're looking for a four bedroom house that's what you're going to look for If you're looking for a 1 BR, if you're looking for a studio apartment, if you're looking for a 2 BR, whatever uh, storage space in that house, if you're the kind of person who buys things, some are women, as we buy things, even things that we really do not need, and we know that we don't need them, but we just feel like we might need them in the future. You know, kuna masfuru, kuna masahani, ulipewa wakati ya rusi, na ule anti yako wa kitale, ule anti yako wa muranga, kakuletea vikombe, anti yako sijua wapi akakuletea sijui nini how is your storage the cabinets the shelves the closet if you're the kind of person who buys clothes kila wakati unataka closet nzuri yenye iko special enough kuchukua nguo ambazo uweza kutoshia nguo ambazo uko nazo ha huh. if you're the kind of person who looks for functionality unataka nyumba yenye at least iko na backyard unaweza unaweza kuwa na ka garden unaweza kuwa na ka gazebo functionality 
unaweza ukaamua kutafuta nyumba ambayo iko hivyo kama ma standard loan hivi unaweza pata standard loan mzee yenye unaweza ukapimp to according to your liking sometimes when you're looking for a house let me tell you one thing guys sometimes when you're looking for a house and you really really want aesthetics and there's this house that you've seen ni beipoa maybe ni mzee or something like that imagine aesthetics ni wewe <laughs> No, I'm serious. I'm saying this in the most serious manner. Aesthetics ni utafanya nyumba yako iko aesthetics. Aesthetic. Unaweza choose ku pimp vile unataka. Ku incur costs. You want to paint it white. Uta incur two cost, but Nairobi kupata nyumba yenye kuna aesthetics ni kuna space. Wallahi. It's like really difficult. And you think ni mtafuta nyumba for so many years but no. The first when I left my mom's home, nilienda kuishi kwa studio apartment huko Kabete. Studio apartment is just a um, um, ni, ni bed sitter imeweka imepakwa tu makeup. <laughs> ni bed sitter imepakwa makeup. It's not the typical small tiny tiny bed sitter, but ni bed sitter inaitwa tu studio apartment. Hiyo tu ni kamaskara kidogo, ka lipstick kidogo the name bed sitter imeweka. And then now I moved to a to a bigger space, but before ni pata hiyo space, sini lizunguka zunguka. So <clears throat> for real for real kuna vitu zenye unaweza live nazo kuna vitu unaweza chukulia nyumba kwa sababu yake <sighs> Yeah Ha the other thing you can consider is the condition Condition hiyo nyumba inakaaje tiles zime crack tiles zina move ukikanyaga moyo yako juu yako anagongesha hivi kitu chini unasikia kama atakuangukia kwa kichwa What is the condition of that house you know kama especially now venye majority of people wanafanya house hunting content wanapeleka kwa manyumba for this point ya condition you cannot rely on the photos and the videos that you watch online you need to specifically go and watch and check it out because mimi kama content creator ni member no mse kuna manyumba yamejenga anataka ni ni muadvertisee Unadhani mimi nitaenda ni kwa hiyo chenye imevunjika ama chenye imerust? Kwani mimi ni nyeje? Am I stupid? No. Sitaonyesha hiyo. Sita kuonyesha hiyo part. Sitaonyesha part yenye matels zime crack. Sitaonyesha room ni iko na crack kukuta. Sindio? Nitaonyesha tu the best things. Ndio mweseme kwa comment. Oh wow. Located where? Bado watu wa located where? Nilisha mtu alishasema kwa title Kiambu Road opposite kids express there you are where tag location sasa usemi location some of you are even angry wacha wewe wacha wewe wacha so you cannot rely on the videos and the photos that you're seeing online you need to go and check by yourself you cannot even rely on a phone call i mute and pigia ni kwambie kwa sai ko in mint condition kumbe mwenye alihama hiyo nyumba aliacha mifanyia maajabu iko haina ventilation ama iko na poor ventilation hmm? iko na dampness kuna nukanga tu ubaridi ingine you know check consider the condition of the house and for that always ukajua through the videos and the photos sawa sometimes i feel like najua maybe na feel funny but me hutaka kujua kama kuna watoto wengi <laughs> and i know mothers will come at me for this it's because you are not yet a mother if you were a mother would you like that to happen sorry mother but muangalia because i'm not about to have unbearable saturdays <coughs> with them screaming outside muangalia sana so in that case unaenda kutafuta nyumba on a saturday senyo wako nyumbani hmm? I said what I said. The other thing, what is your health condition? Why am I asking that? Because you can't have bad knees and a heavy chest. No nataka kukaa nyumba iko 6th floor. Hata kama utajiambia it's a form of, of, of exercise. By the time una get fit, magoti yako ni grease imebaki. You know, what is your health like? What is your health like? Haya. In that part of security, ah watu wako hapo kwa gate 
Ukikuja usiku wa manane umetoka Your waist my heart Umetoka matunda zako Utasimama po kwa get 10 minutes Ukipipipi ukingoja kufunguliwa Ni watu wenye wako chap chap kukufungulia Cause anything within is 10 minutes Anything can happen Unaeza wana like yako ime Imeishia kwa macho ya In front of your eyes like this You know so there are various things you really really need to consider when looking when house hunting. Angalia hizo vitu kwa makini sana. If you're the kind of person who wants views, go for a house that itakupatia views. Hmm? Go for a house yenye itakupatia views. Hmm? Angalia nyumba yenye utakuwa afford kulipa. Uliza maji per unit ni pesa ngapi? Hmm? If you're a work from home person, uliza kama wako na generator. That should not deter you from getting into that house, but I feel like it's important to know. Uliza watu around matatu zinishanga sanga. Pisio unatoka dunda sa yako sa tano. Unapata kuna although skuzi at least kuna makab. Although pia at the same time kuna kabzinya zitakangi kwenye some places. You know? Yeah. So all these things are worth putting into consideration when you're house hunting. How accessible are things? You know, can you get a supermarket? Is there a supermarket around? How far is it to the market? Like me, I live near one gig market. Yeah, just a side note. I know nobody asked. Who asked you? I know nobody asked. <laughs> so, kuna ka super karibu. Kuna ka shop karibu. Sandi asubu naeza kimbilia ka mkate na ka maziwa. Siyo atisa juli sao kununua Westlands. Ama town. Now you will starve yourself to death hmm? you know hey kuna maboda boda karibu kuna police station actually some of these things zina pop up na mieta siku consider your time ilikuwa na natafuta <laughs> yeah ngalia vitu kama hizo hmm? utaitaji utaitaji place in your just got money in my pocket. I'm ready to give a speech on money, inv investment, money and business. Pata pesa kwa mfuko enyo kutarajia. Tawatuanga na pesa yumi. Tawatuanga. You know, consider those things. Yeah, I think that's the end of this video. There's no other reason to drag it. Hmm. Do you need a balcony? Then you look for a house that has a balcony. Do you need a bafu and cho that is separate? You look for that. A bafu that's not separate from the cho but it's big. Well and good. Open kitchen, closed kitchen. What's your preference? Some of these things really go down to preference. What's your preference? What's your taste? And how much do you have? <laughs> it all goes back to the money. It all goes back to the money. Kuna vitu huta aweza ku afford kama hauna yo pesa. Kuna vitu tahapu kusettle for. So, make sure your money is right. But if you do not really, really, ask yourself, do I really need to move out from of my mother's house? Why do I need to move out of my mother's house? Do I need to? If the answer is, uh, lakini, don't leave. Stay home. Stay in school. Be obedient to your mother. Use Colgate and tissue paper and oil sparingly. It's expensive. But if you still want to live, you move. You move. Let us suffer together out, out here. Paying water and electricity. Kwanza sayi steema. Steema sayizi yata ni luxury. Inami, inabidi tu mchana, unafungua mlango na dirisha light inge. Steema unawasha around saa tatu wakati ambao ni giza totoro. Otherwise, kama uneza tembe ukiguza guza hivi vitu, well and good, that's a skill that we all need to learn. Because, what, tell me why electricity in a behave ni kama, ni kona salon kwa nyumba, do I have a salon? Hmm? Do I have an industry? Do I have a whole company in the house? See, si. do I? But no, you want to leave your mother's house? Be my guest, welcome to the Nabi economy, we hope you already feel welcome. Enjoy the ride. Sasa, yeah. If there's any point that I've left out, guys, please 
feel free to tell me in the comment section below otherwise bye